All right, hey guys, how's it going? It's Project Relax Week 10. So this is another end of a complete section here. And so one of the things I wanted to focus on in Project Relax was learning how to relax and do things for fun that's not work related. And that was really hard for me at first, but you know, uh, I read a book on, uh, on about full engagement and I kind of learned how important it is to uh, make time for yourself to relax. It's just like how a bodybuilder needs recovery time for their muscles. A uh, regular work person needs relax time so they can recover um, emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually and all that stuff. So um, yeah, yeah, I'm still I'm definitely working on it. I'm much more comfortable with the topic of relaxation. When I'm working now, uh, something that's always coming into my mind is how can I make this easier for myself? You know, I used to really worship hard work and making things work just more difficult for myself. And now, you know, I still want to have a really great quality product. I want to be relaxed, but I'm thinking how can I make things easier and more efficient? So um, yeah, I'm really, I really like how this 10 week period went along. When I made the Project Relax week one video, uh, that was a pretty sad episode because I just got out of a relationship. Um, what actually happened was my girlfriend and I actually got back together um, uh, around like week two. And it's kind of funny because around week 10, uh, I think she dumped me. I'm not really sure she's not talking to me anymore. <laughs> um, I've been like really sad, really upset, really confused recently. I have no idea what happened. She won't talk to me or text me. And you know, I was actually like quite angry and it just felt really bad. I didn't know what to do. What I kind of found what really worked for me is I decided to forgive her. Maybe there's some kind of reason uh, she doesn't want to talk to me right now. She's busy. I just have to trust that there's some kind of reason even though I may not understand it. It could, you can even say like maybe God has another arrangement for me. Something's going on in your life but you don't get what's going on. So one thing I did to kind of cope with all this sadness and you know negativity was go to uh, Disneyland with my friend and we had a good time there. It was just kind of taking my mind off of uh, yeah things. And I also been going to the gym recently with my friend Dan and that's been pretty good. Uh, just hanging out with friends more. I'm trying to make an effort to do like that, make, hang out with friends more. And um, another thing I've been doing is writing down the favorite part of my day. And basically, every day I'd write down what I really enjoy that day. And I feel like that's kind of like an appreciation gratitude exercise without getting too literal about it. Um, so I'm writing down what I really liked about that day. It really makes me think about all the great things I've done that in that day and kind of when I'm doing something I enjoy it more. I think next week I want to next week I want to start another 10 week um, segment. I think I'm gonna make it about joy and gratitude. Joy because like everything I do I kind of take it lightheartedly and with you know a smile so relax is kind of like neutral and it's good. Joy is kind of like more on the positive side so I'm, I want to see like where I, can I go with that and gratitude just because you know, whatever you're grateful for, you're happier, you appreciate it more, and um, yeah, I'm gonna see, I'm um, combine joy and gratitude together, and I'll see what I get from it. Hopefully, I think it'll be something good.